Hi guys and everyone in my Gold Experience B1. Now, welcome to your final video of this term, okay? Now in this video, it is all about guidelines, okay? So guidelines, what I mean by this is that I'm gonna talk you through what the process is going to be now. In the next, first of all, I want to say thank you so, so much for getting your work in. And I know I've read all your work and I've been marking all your work and it's evident that you're working very hard. And for everyone who has done, a big, massive thumbs up or a big hands to say, well done. Now, what happens now? Now, over the last two terms, you have done at least two PET exams. Okay, two PET exams, which has helped me decide whether I think you should be doing PET, Cambridge B1, or KET, which is Cambridge A2. Now, I have made decisions and over the next couple of, next number, next number of days, I will be sending you a past paper. It'll either be PET or CAT with my recommendations and I'll tell you why I'm recommending you for this. What I'm talking about with guidelines is what is what does the exam entail? What does the exam entail? So, first of all, I'm going to talk about CAT, which is A2. Now, in CAT A2, or Cambridge Key, as it's also known as, is aimed at A2 level English. There are three exams. You have reading and writing, you have listening, and you have speaking. Okay, the reading and writing are together and the exam lasts for one hour. Okay, so the exam lasts for one hour. It's in seven parts. Parts one to five are reading, reading focused, and parts six and seven are writing focused. Now, the writing focus on parts six and seven, part six is a guided task, which there's, you have a prompt or a brief, and then you have to write a minimum of 35 words. So there's no upper limit, there is a minimum limit, okay? And then you have a picture story. You have a series of pictures and then you have to respond to it, okay? Minimum of 35 words. There are 30 points to the reading and 30 points to the writing because the two tasks in the writing are 15 marks each. So you need to be very careful that you only have one hour to complete this exam. In the listening, you have, it's five parts, and then the exam itself is about 30 minutes. It's about 30 minutes long and there's 25 points. So there's different listening activities. Just be focused on different parts of that exam. Now in the speaking. Now in the speaking, you have you will be in pairs or if there's an odd number, you will be in a group of three. You will have this list split into two parts. The actual exam lasts about eight to 10 minutes. For this, you have, for the interview, you have you're going to be asked a series of different questions. You could be talking about daily routine, free time, education, different things like that. Typical everyday questions, so three to four minutes. And then you have a discussion on the topic with your partner and the examiner for about five to six minutes. So the actual exam itself for CAT lasts about two hours in total. Okay. Moving on to people who will be doing PET. With PET, you will have you will have four exams. It used to be in the past reading and writing were together, but now they are separated. In the reading, you have six parts, okay? Parts one to four are worth five points each, and parts five and six are worth six points each. Pay attention, you have a series of different texts with short and long. You may have to find the correct word, you may have to open close, it could be open to interpretation, what goes in to the particular gaps of these questions. So you need to be aware of that. So you have 45 minutes to do that. Paper two is your writing paper. In the writing exam, you will have two tasks to complete. In part one, it is a compulsory task. Now what I mean by compulsory task, it is obligatory. You have to write it. And it's a response to an email. You will have an email usually from your English teacher. So for example, I would send you an email and you have to respond to it, okay? And you have to write within 100 words your response. Now, in this question, be very, very careful. There are actually hints in the within the question. So there'll be little pointers to drop a few hints. 
So pay very close attention to the question. This question is worth 20 points. Okay, it's worth 20 points in total. It's about 100 words. Remember, you have your lower and upper limit of 10%. So a minimum of 90 words and a maximum of 110 words. So remember to keep to the point. Okay, so keep very much to the point. Right, in part two, you have an option of two questions. An article and a story. A story is usually a very good way for you to be creative in response to the question. This is a good piece of chance for you to be creative and imaginative in your writing. An article, with the article, is talking about something that you may be personally interested in. Now, in the article, something that I've noticed in the past, in the past, there are a series of questions. Try, you need to answer them within the body of your text. Don't answer them separately, because otherwise that will that will cause your presentation to go down for communicative achievement. Okay? But if you have good language and organisation with those points, you, it might go for your advantage rather than disadvantage. As I said, in part two, you choose one of the two questions. You don't answer both, you answer one of two questions. Once again, you have 45 minutes to answer both questions. So roughly, if you take out checking and reading the question, which is roughly about five minutes, you roughly have about 20 minutes per question, okay? And both questions are worth 20 points each. Then we go to paper three, which is your listening, listening test. Now in the listening, you have a various amount of audios in four parts, and it's worth 25 points in total. For each question, you only have two chances to listen, and you only can listen very, you have to listen very, very carefully. So be very, very much attention to detail here. Okay, and then finally in paper four, when we go to the speaking, it starts off with an interview for two minutes. So it's asking general questions about you and your partner, or partners if there's three of you. Because I will ask you general questions just to get to know you. And as I have practiced with you in class. Then you have what is called the extended turn. You will be given a photo and you have to talk about that photo for 60 seconds, okay? For 60 seconds, continuously. Only thing is, you need to try and practice at home with different images. Something which I will be giving to you in the next, over something for you to do over the Easter holidays. To practice this, maybe perhaps take a photo, record yourself for a minute talking about it, and send it to me, and I can give you some feedback on it. That would be something I'm wanting to help you on. Then you have what is called a discussion task. So there'll be a discussion, which is the pictures, and a general discussion, which lasts for about two to three minutes, in which you're talking about the different things. This sort of prepares you for what comes next in B2, but this you talk about the general idea, and then you have to reach a decision. You have to reach a decision of what is the best option. Remember, you're entitled to a difference in opinion. You don't have to have the same opinion throughout, okay? You may agree on the same thing, but it's okay to disagree as well. Then finally, in part four, is your discussion. So your discussion actually relates to what you did. Your general conversation, rather, I do beg your pardon, your general conversation in part four relates to the discussion you do in part three. So there will be questions that are actually linked to what you were talking about previously. Okay, so what happens now? What I will be doing in the next few days is I will be getting your papers put together and I'll be emailing you your exams, okay? I'll be emailing you the exam and you complete it at home in your own time. You can type your answers and send them back to me for me to check, okay? And this will go towards your term three results, okay? Rather than term two. With that, I'll be sending you some extra pointers and activities maybe to practice over the course of the holidays as well. Also, be prepared. I will be set for people who have sent me work. You will have your I'll be sending out your marks for pet and cat, and then tell you my recommendations. If you want any extra guidance or help, you can email me, or you can arrange a Skype session with me as well, which will last for 15-20 minutes. 
I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you succeed. And I want you all to do well. And I would like for people who haven't got in touch yet, I would like you to be in touch with me as soon as possible, please, so I can see how you're getting on. If you have any difficulties, let me know. And if there's any problems, don't be hesitate to talk. Okay, so for me, I want to wish you all a very happy Semana Santa East slash Easter holiday. And your first video lesson back will be on Tuesday, the Tuesday the 14th of April. Okay, have a good holiday. Stay safe, be happy and be healthy. Okay, bye bye everybody. Bye.